More unwanted attention for Canada's women's soccer team as the fallout from the drone spying scandal continues to unravel. Today, another distraction for players trying to revive hope against their toughest opponent yet, France. CTV's Kamal Karamali has been following this story for us. Kamal, these are must-win games for the team. Heather, what a frantic finish it was. Canada defeating France 2-1 to one with only a couple of minutes left in the match. Now, Canada has to pretty much win every game in this group stage since FIFA, soccer's governing body, docked the team six points yesterday. So even though they won against New Zealand earlier and now France, they still have zero points because they started the tournament with negative six points, making it difficult to advance to the next round, but not impossible. But if that wasn't enough today, our own country penalizing the team, the federal government saying they're withholding some of Canada's soccer's funding for the duration of their FIFA sanctions. Canada's sports minister says it's yet to be determined how much should be withheld, but that using a drone to surveil another team during a closed practice is cheating. It is completely unfair to Canadian players and to opposing teams. It undermines the integrity of the game itself. Meanwhile, the team's head coach, who has been banned, spoke on the issue today. I am absolutely heartbroken for the players, and I would like to apologize from the bottom of my heart. I want to take accountability, and I plan to fully cooperate with the investigation. They're losing, no matter what. Even if they win on the pitch, they have lost. They have lost the Olympics. They have lost the respect of people as a team. I'm not talking to players, but as a team, as a country, I think we've lost our image. Now the Canadian women's soccer team with a glimmer of hope to advance to the next round with a match against Colombia on Wednesday. Heather. All right, Kamal, thank you.